Okay, section 3.1. Um, this is just a review. There's five questions of some right triangle trig from 10th grade. So when we're labeling a triangle, we start with the reference angle, and that's the angle that we're looking at, the angle that we're using to label sides. And then we always start with the hypotenuse. That's not up there, but that's the one across from the right angle. And then the adjacent side is the side next to the angle. Adjacent means next to. It actually helps create the angle. And then the opposite side is the angle, or not the angle, the side across from the reference angle across from reference angle. And here's a picture with an example. So here theta is our reference angle. And when we have sine, cosine, tangent, theta is right after that. That's the angle. And then we would label the sides across from that's the opposite. The one next to it is adjacent. And we create these three ratios. So sine, cosine, tangent, we use so katoa, so S is for sine, and then it's our side length ratios. Opposite over hypotenuse, adjacent over hypotenuse, opposite over adjacent. That's all those are. It's taking one side divided by the other side. So if we want to find ratios, you look in parentheses next to sine, cosine, tangent. That's your reference angle. So X is going to be our reference angle. So if we label our sides across from the right angle is the hypotenuse. Across from the reference angle is the opposite. And then across, or not across, next to the angle is the adjacent. And then you're just going to make fractions. So sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So 16 over 20. And you can reduce or not reduce. If you put 16 over 20, it would be correct. If you put 4 over 5, it would be correct. Cosine adjacent over hypotenuse, 12 over 20. And same thing, you can reduce to 3 fifths or not. Tangent opposite over adjacent, 16 over 12 would reduce to 4 thirds. So notice now our reference angle is Z and now our hypotenuse always stays, but if I'm looking at Z, across from Z, this will become the opposite, and this will come, become the adjacent. They switch opposite and adjacent. So now sine is opposite over hypotenuse. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. And tangent is opposite over adjacent. So notice what happens. Sine and cosine switch when you switch the reference angle. And on tangent, you take the reciprocal when you switch the reference angle. Okay, so you're going to use these to solve for side lengths. That's why we use sine, cosine, tangent.